Ever wondered how to invest in the S&P 500? Well, let's start at the beginning. The S&P 500 is a stock market index that measures the performance of 500 of the largest companies listed on the stock exchanges in the United States. It's a popular choice for investors because it offers a broad snapshot of the US equities market and the overall economy. Investing in the S&P 500 comes with several benefits. It provides exposure to the growth potential of these large corporations. And because it's made up of 500 different stocks, it offers a level of diversification. Furthermore, it's managed by professional market experts, reducing the need for individual investors to constantly monitor their investments. So if you're looking to embrace the stock market but aren't sure where to start, you might want to consider the S&P 500. In this video, you will learn the top five tips for investing in the S&P 500. Our first tip is to start with a clear investment goal. Now, you might be wondering why you need to define your investment goal. Well, let me break it down for you. Investing without a clear goal is like setting sail on a ship without a destination. Sure, the journey might be exciting, but where are you heading? You see, your investment goal serves as your financial compass guiding your decisions and helping you navigate through the vast sea of the S&P 500. Your investment goal could be anything from saving for a down payment on a house, funding your child's education or securing a comfortable retirement. Each goal carries a different investment horizon and risk tolerance, which will in turn influence your investment strategy for the S&P 500. For instance, if your goal is to save for a house down payment in the next five years, your investment strategy might lean towards a more conservative approach. You might choose a portfolio with a higher allocation towards less volatile stocks or even bonds to protect your capital. On the other hand, if you're investing for retirement that's 20 years away, you could afford to take on more risk for higher returns. You might opt for a portfolio with a higher concentration of growth stocks that could potentially offer higher returns over the long run. Remember, the S&P 500 is a broad market index comprising 500 of the largest companies in the US. It provides a good mix of both growth and value stocks, making it a suitable choice for a wide range of investment goals. But here's the kicker. Your investment goal isn't set in stone. It can and should evolve with your life circumstances. Maybe you've achieved your initial goal and it's time to set a new one. Or perhaps life threw a curveball at you and you need to reassess your investment strategy. That's perfectly okay. The key is to always have a clear goal in sight and to regularly review and adjust it as needed. Remember, a clear goal is the first step to a successful investment journey. Our second tip is to diversify your portfolio. Now, you might be wondering, what does diversification mean? In simple terms, diversification is a risk management strategy that involves spreading your investments across various financial instruments, industries and other categories to optimize potential returns and reduce risk. It's akin to not putting all your eggs in one basket. Why is diversification important? Well, imagine you've invested all your money in a single company. If that company goes under, you stand to lose everything. But if you've spread your investments across a variety of companies, even if one company fails, the others could still do well and offset your losses. And here's where the S&P 500 comes into play. The S&P 500, or the Standard & Poor's 500, is a stock market index that measures the performance of 500 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. When you invest in the S&P 500, you're essentially investing in these 500 different companies. This gives you a high level of diversification right off the bat. Let's delve deeper into the benefits of diversification. First, it reduces risk. By spreading your investments across a range of companies, sectors and asset types, you minimize the impact of any single investment performing poorly. Second, it increases potential returns. When you diversify, you're not just mitigating risk, you're also opening up more avenues for potential growth. 
Different investments perform well at different times, so a diversified portfolio is more likely to have some investments that are performing well at any given time. Lastly, diversification provides balance. It allows you to balance your portfolio between high-risk, high-reward investments and low-risk, steady-growth investments. This can help to smooth out the highs and lows of the market, providing a more stable growth trajectory over time. Diversifying your portfolio is like creating a financial ecosystem that can withstand storms and thrive in various climate conditions. And investing in the S&P 500 is a straightforward and effective way of achieving that diversification. Diversification is key to minimizing risk and maximizing returns. Our third tip is to consider dollar cost averaging. Dollar Cost Averaging, or DCA, is a strategic approach where you invest a fixed amount of money into a particular investment, like the S&P 500, at regular intervals, be it monthly, quarterly or annually, regardless of the price. So you might be wondering, how does this work? Imagine a seesaw in a playground. The prices of the S&P 500 shares are like the seesaw. They go up and down over time. Now let's say you've decided to invest $100 every month. Some months when the seesaw is low, your $100 will buy more shares. Other months when the seesaw is high, your $100 will buy fewer shares. But over time, this approach can result in you paying a lower average cost per share. Now, let's delve into the potential advantages of dollar cost averaging. First up, it's a disciplined investment approach. It helps to eliminate the emotional aspect of investing as you're not trying to time the market or make predictions. Second, it can help mitigate the impact of market volatility. Since you're investing at regular intervals, you're purchasing more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high. This can potentially lower the average cost per share over time. Third, it's a budget-friendly strategy. Since you're investing a fixed amount regularly, you can start small and grow your investment over time. This can be particularly beneficial for those who might not have a large lump sum to invest all at once. However, like any investment strategy, it's not without its risks. It doesn't guarantee a profit or protect against a loss in declining markets. And if the market is consistently rising, you could end up buying at increasingly higher prices. But remember, investing is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And strategies like dollar cost averaging can help you stay the course and potentially build wealth over the long term. Dollar cost averaging can help you navigate market volatility. Our fourth tip is to keep an eye on the market. Now, this might sound a little daunting, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it seems. It's all about staying informed and being aware of the financial world around you. You see, the S&P 500 is a market index that tracks the performance of 500 large companies listed on the stock exchanges in the United States. It's a good representation of the overall US stock market and by extension, the health of the US economy. Therefore, monitoring the market trends is imperative when investing in the S&P 500. So, how do you keep an eye on the market effectively? Well, you don't have to become a financial analyst overnight, nor do you need to spend every waking hour glued to the financial news. The key here is to develop a routine that works for you. You could start your day with a quick glance at the financial news to get a sense of the market's mood. There are several reliable financial news outlets where you can get your daily dose of market updates. You can also use financial apps that provide real-time data and news updates. It's also a good idea to follow economic indicators like GDP growth rates, unemployment rates, inflation rates and others. These indicators can give you an insight into the health of the economy, which can indirectly affect the S&P 500. Another effective way to monitor the market is to follow the earnings reports of the companies in the S&P 500. These reports can give you a sense of how these companies are performing, which can impact the index's performance. Remember, the goal here is not to predict the market's every move. That's a fool's errand. Instead, it's about understanding the broader trends and how they might impact your investments. So don't shy away from the financial news or those economic indicators. Embrace them. Make them a part of your investment strategy. They are tools that can help you navigate the complex world of investing. 
Staying updated with market trends can help you make informed decisions. Our final tip is to invest for the long term. The allure of quick gains can be tempting, yet the most successful investors understand that the real secret source to wealth accumulation lies in long-term investing. This approach becomes even more beneficial when investing in the S&P 500, a market index that generally trends upward over extended periods. Why is this so? Well, long-term investing allows you to ride out market volatility. Short-term market fluctuations can often mislead investors into making hasty decisions. However, by adopting a long-term perspective, you're more likely to weather these temporary storms and benefit from the overall trend of market growth. Furthermore, long-term investing in the S&P 500 allows you to reap the benefits of compounding. Your returns are not just on your original investment, but also on the gains that investment has made over time. So remember, investing isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Patience pays off when it comes to investing in the S&P 500. Let's recap the top five tips we've discussed today. These are gems that can guide you on your journey to successful investing in the S&P 500. Firstly, we emphasize the importance of having a clear investment goal. It's like setting a destination on your GPS before starting your journey. With a clear goal, you can strategize your investment plan effectively. Whether you're saving for retirement, a new home, or your child's education, your investment goal will serve as a compass, guiding your choices in the vast investment landscape. Next, we talked about diversifying your portfolio. It's like not putting all your eggs in one basket. By investing in a variety of assets, you can spread out your risk. It's a strategy that can help cushion you against the volatility of the market and provide a more steady return in the long run. The third tip was considering dollar cost averaging. This is a strategy where you invest a fixed amount regularly, regardless of the market condition. It's like watering a plant consistently, whether it's sunny or rainy. Over time, you may buy more shares when prices are low and fewer when they are high, which can potentially lower your average cost per share. We also discussed the importance of keeping an eye on market trends. This doesn't mean you should be glued to the stock market news every second. Instead, it's about staying informed and being aware of the economic factors that could influence the market. It's like being a captain who always checks the weather before sailing out to the sea. Lastly, we highlighted the value of investing for the long term. Remember, investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's more like a marathon, not a sprint. The most successful investors are often those who stay the course, patiently allowing their investments to grow over time. Remember, successful investing in the S&P 500 involves clear goals, diversification, dollar cost averaging, staying updated with market trends and long-term commitment. Happy investing!